Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Damn Bull Bubble Fett Rats Fett for a King Star Wars song featuring JT Music. Now, uh, Dan's done a few Star Wars songs before. I believe I've reacted to uh, his Mandalorian one and I think his Star Wars Squadrons one. Um, and I think, Lilo, yeah, I did his uh, Jedi Fallen Order one as well. So I am myself a Star Wars fan, if you cannot tell. However, when it comes to the Boba Fett show, which this is obviously uh, completely based on, uh, not so much. It was kind of a shit show, shit show. I mean, if you have to give an entire episode to The Mandalorian, it just says you've not kind of written it correctly. Um, that's not taken away from the guy who plays Boba Fett. I can't remember his name, but he's, he's a sound lad. Just it wasn't there for me in the show. It was just there were good moments in it. Don't get me wrong, but it was just mainly disappointing. Uh, which is uh, which is sad to see. Hopefully they don't fuck up the Ahsoka show that's coming out uh, soon. And hopefully Gamble does uh, you know keeping in line with uh, Star Wars songs for all the shows. He does an Ahsoka song, which I think would be dope. Um, yeah, let's see how he approaches Boba Fett because Boba Fett is don't get me wrong. Boba Fett is a fucking cool character. But he did not seem it in his own show. I think I preferred him in the actual Mandalorian than I did in um, in his own show, which is kind of says a lot. So let's just get straight into this reaction. We all know Dan is great. Uh, let's do this. I'm already loving. I, you can, I also pause, guys. Don't get mad at me. Uh, I'm also this beat. Da -na 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 I probably didn't do it justice then with my voice, but yeah. Wow. Okay, so I can already tell Dan is going to be flowing his ass off on this one. Um, yeah, we've already got, you know, it's Dan. We're going to get references out the fucking the zoo. We've got emerging from the sand from the Sarlacc pit. Obviously, what the fair was swallowed by the Sarlacc pit in. Um, was it Return of the Jedi? Oh, I don't remember. Um, and yeah, this is from him in Mandalorian. The Django, this time I emerge from the sand of Sarlacc's guard to be burned in a permanent town. I won't turn in my hands to the world of the gangster. Turn to the world of the gangster, because obviously when Boba Fett comes back in the show, he's like, I want to be the gangster of, uh, Tatooine or whatever. It's just so... He's a bounty hunter. I guess I know he's progressing through his character arc, but to me, he's a fucking hard ass bounty hunter, not a mob boss. I I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, like, I know I'm pausing a, an extra lot here, but let's just go back. Back to the future, as in Back to the future, but back back to the future because obviously we're time jumping whenever he goes to the back to tank. Like the rhyme schemes are just so on point every single time with that. It's so impressive. It's it, it's ridiculous. It's impressive, but it's ridiculous. It's so, like, just listen to this. It's so unnecessary. We're only 20 seconds in. This is unnecessarily good. And that was dope as well. Found it. Shan, help me out of the sand. Just dope. JT Music. Like, you see he's chopping it up now, he's never going to keep the same flow throughout a whole video because he wants to keep you engaged, an excellent way of doing it. Uh, you know, there's sometimes where you can switch your flow up in a song so much that it kind of gets a bit old. That's never going to happen with Dan because he's just so good on a beat. <laughs> I 
I will say though, one thing that this series has done is look make Slave One look like a fucking sick ship. Because obviously in the the the, um, the originals, we never saw inside Slave One really. But when that ship hold like rotated, I thought that was so cool. Uh, a very cool ship design, I will say. Take a better come to rap In days gone, I stayed in slave one But it wasn't the greatest place to slave on Now I aim to come back to greater numbers And the space for a layer is a lacious crumb I can't turn the trust of the Tuscan Raiders Now they turn the knot, never dust the vapors Burns them across the because I stay with them I must return to the dusk and the daters Calling the cop on the favors and the neighbors They cut off a traitor like a blade of a slave And I'll pay for the dream and I'll change and remain to the faith of a crate If you're laying in a crater The rapping is unnecessarily good on this one it it does the it does the show more justice than it deserves and i'm loving like the little choir breaks we get as well Okay, this is dope. It's just kingpin things, there'll be no being thin skin. Pulling strings, calling springs, calling then bring him in. It's just kingpin things, there'll be no singing hymns. Really avenging sin, swinging limbs, still changing wind. I see you quite into it with the pipes and digger. I won't even describe what I think of it as a time to lie low and a time to rise. A time to strike your nose by surprise. I'm the dying, you're with the dire environment. The fight the crime is in a nine to five. When in a fire and life and sunrise to nightfall, spread in a fine line to find survival. I ride from a size with a moss esper. Why are the moths that have got mespers? No. I know some people are kind of, yeah, you know, it wasn't so. No, this was shit. I'm, I am passionate about this. This fucking mod Vespa bullshit is shit. The whole, the chasing was bullshit. It looked, sh this, I, I, it was shit. Fuck whoever said this was good. Dumbass Power Ranger looking asses. What the fuck is it? <laughs> oh my god, I completely forgot Cad Bane. I, last time I forgot Cad Bane was in it. Um, yeah, I thought they did Cad Bane quite well uh, for a live action parents. <laughs> Mixed by Dan. I didn't know Dan um, mixed his own stuff. Nice. Okay then, guys. That is going to be my reaction to Dan Will Boba Fett Raps Fett for a King Star Wars song featuring JT Music. Damn, that was way better than it needed to be. Um, <laughs> the show was extremely disappointing to me. This song, however, was extremely not disappointing to me. Uh, yeah, Dan was wrapping his ass off on this one. Um, yeah, was, the fucking rhyme schemes of this was just absolutely crazy and ridiculous. The hook by JT as well was very nice. It fit the kind of theme of the song very well. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to see whether or not Dan does one for the Ahsoka show coming out because I'm excited for that show as well. And he's sticked with all the Star Wars shows so far, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah. 10 out of 10 song, well done Dan, did it way too good, completely unnecessary to just destroy a track like that <laughs> for a show so shitty. I'll see you guys in the next video, thank you for watching and have a nice day, goodbye.